Welcome to All Real Estate All the Time with Whitney Nicely. Whitney is the principal broker for Whitney Buys Houses and the principal auctioneer for Nicely Done Auctions. She owns a real estate portfolio, including land, houses, and apartment buildings across East Tennessee. Whitney will teach you how to purchase real estate for profit and help you achieve lifelong goals. You don't need to be a real estate agent to be a good real estate investor. And now the star of her own show, Whitney Nicely. Hello, what a beautiful morning in East Tennessee. I hope you are enjoying this and I hope you're heading to the lake or heading to the big box store so you can get your weekend honeydew list done. And hopefully I'll give you a couple ideas on what else you could do because I am working on my own honeydew list this weekend. Um, my mom has a lake house on Norris and if you've been listening to me for even a minute, you should know that I hate brass doorknobs. Like I just hate them. What's wrong with brass? Hi, 1997. I mean, I just, I can't stand it. So, and it's real easy to change the doorknobs. It's real easy to change, oh my gosh, the switch plates. All the switch plates at the house are brass. What about those nice molded ones that... No, not the molded ones. Please, no. <laughs> so anyway, that's what I'm doing this weekend. Last weekend, I cleaned out like everything in the kitchen. We threw out like five trash bags and then you couldn't tell I did anything. I cleaned out the entire kitchen and you still couldn't tell I did anything. So welcome to life with kids. I don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem. There's just a bunch of adults in the lake house every weekend and we just kind of come and throw everything down and then leave and we don't ever keep up with it. So last weekend I went through and cleaned everything just in the kitchen, five trash bags. So this weekend, I'm so excited. I've already been to the big box store. I've already got all my stuff. I went on Monday night so that I was ready for this weekend. So nice. I am doing my own little weekend project and changing out all of the plate covers and all of the doorknobs in the house. I've already changed the kitchen knobs. Okay. So I've little by little. I've already changed the kitchen knobs. Yes. What are you going to? Um, the brush nickel, the like off silver kind of okay. stuff. Just now is copper plain. okay still? That uh, I guess it's copper or bronze. The dark yeah like copper brush stuff yeah you could do that that's that's fine just please not brass and i know that people like brass because it's uh is it anti-fungal i don't know it's supposed to be cleaner okay that's why a lot of public places have brass is because it's supposed to be cleaner for a lot of traffic but i i can't stand it in the house and if you're going to put your house on the market i've said this before if you're going to put your house on the market do some little weekend tidbits to update the house you don't have to paint the whole thing. You don't have to gut the kitchen. You can just take care of the little pretty things that'll just make it look more 2016 instead of 1997. I got gotcha. you. Well, so we barely got you in studio this weekend. It sounds like you're a little, a little preoccupied. What's going on? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited on Tuesday. I didn't think I had anything really going on. Well, I had a, uh, I had a product launch. So I've got women that have signed up for my 90 day program to become a real estate investor. And that was awesome. That was on Monday. And I've got a book coming out in September. A book? A book. I, I wrote a book and it's coming out in September. And I actually collaborated with a lot of other really smart professional ladies in Atlanta. I'm the only real estate person in the book though. And so we're having this huge party in Atlanta, book launch party with all of the authors, all of the everybody that was involved and it, we've actually turned it into like a weekend girls retreat so for like five trash bags left over afterwards again right <laughs> no 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 so we've got this it's i think it's one night in september and we're all spending the night we've got this great location it's like a uh, it's like glamping you know it's like a glamour camping kind of thing uh, so yeah. it's all these professional ladies we're coming together and there's i think five or six of us that are speaking so i'm one of the speakers i'm the only real estate speaker that's going to be at this event and the reason we're having this is also in combination with our book launch party so we're doing that in september and that's going to be in Atlanta. And I've got a whole radio and TV tour set up for Atlanta while I'm there. Oh, so you're going on tour now. I'm going on tour. It's so much fun. I love it. I'm going to get my hair all done and everything like I did in June. <laughs> <laughs> Not just up in a ponytail. And then I have, oh, let's see, in October, I'm going to Ohio to do, again, a book launch tour and radio tour in Ohio, Columbus, Ohio. You might run into Trump and Hillary out there. I hope not. <laughs> I hope not. My stuff's a lot more fun than what they're barking about. Oh, yeah. And then in November, 
I I'm doing a retreat. A, a, like like the one I'm going to in September, but the one in November is women making money in real estate. So if you are a woman, sorry fellas, but if you are a woman making money in real estate as a landlord, as an agent, as a mortgage broker, as an architect, as a city codes inspector, whatever it is that you're doing in real estate, as long as you're making some money, I'm going to have, and I'm, I'm limiting it to like 15 or 20 ladies. Like, I don't want this to be a huge thing. I want this to be really intimate. And we're going to go to Asheville, North Carolina. I'm going to Biltmore. We're going to ah, Biltmore. Nice. We Love are going Biltmore. to Biltmore. So on Saturday, our whole itinerary is just Biltmore. We're going to do a behind the scenes tour. But on Friday, our, our kickoff is on Friday. And on Friday, we've got, again, you know, I think there's six or seven of us that are going to do like an hour, 45 minute presentation on different chunks of real estate. So like Julie's in the studio with me every other week it feels like I, I love having julie with me and so she's going to be there and she's going to talk about property management and why real smart investors will have a property manager so she's going to do a topic on that i'll do an hour probably on owner financing lease options and why you should be doing creative financing and then you know april crosley is from pennsylvania she's going to come in she really focuses on if you have money in a 401k or a self-directed ira how you can put that money into real estate and get some i mean just mind-blowing returns off of it so she'll talk about that so we've got different ladies that are coming from different parts of the country and they've all got specific things that they're going to talk about so that's going to be on friday and then i think friday night we'll do like a fancy dinner kind of somewhere on the grounds at biltmore and then saturday just at biltmore and you know just have fun and we'll do a wine tour and it's it's a really intimate time just for ladies women in real estate making money so that's going to be in november and again while i'm in Asheville, we're going to the radio stations we're going to the tv stations i'm going to be all over the paper it's going to be awesome <laughs> it'll be a good time for sure i'm going on tour <laughs> <laughs> It's so much fun. I also talked to a lady this morning about going to speak to the sorority houses, especially here at UT. It should be easy and fun to go and say, hey, I know that you're, and this could go for any collegiate woman, but the sororities, I mean, that's easy picking. It's like shooting fish in a pond, I mean, in a barrel, right? They're just there. You talk to them. They're together once a week already. Yeah, yeah. So, the idea of this presentation would be that I would go in and I don't know if it was taught to me as a woman in college or if I picked this up just through life of being a Southern woman, but I always thought I'd go to college, I'd get married, I'd have kids, and then life would be happily ever after. You're and like a 10 year plan, right? And somewhere in there, I'd buy a house, I'd go to work, I'd go on vacation, blah, 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 blah. But nobody ever said, whoa, wrong. What you need to do is graduate, buy a quadplex. That brings in $500 a month. I'm so, guessing those girls in Sorority Row don't know what a quadplex is right now. I'm a sorority girl and I'll teach them. I will teach <laughs> them what a quadplex is and why they need to buy it. So that when you're going out and you're getting a job, you know you have money coming in. You are basically living for free. That way when you do go off and get married, you can have that baby and still know that you're going to bring in $2,000 a month. So that you can take off for six months or a year and still be contributing. I mean, $2,000, but a lot of us, when you graduate college, you only make two grand a month anyway. So what if two years later, three years later, you're bringing in an extra two grand, now you're bringing in four grand, and all of that just starts to level you up. And women aren't taught that. So it's my mission to get into those sorority houses this year or get into just any women's club on UT's campus and say, hey, y'all, don't go buy a two bedroom, one bath in South Knoxville because it's cute. Go buy a quadplex in South Knoxville because you're going to make a ton of money off of it in the next 10 years. And I think women should respect that. <laughs> so if you have any kind of connections at UT, I'm really looking. I was going to call Megan. I don't know if she's still in charge of the Panhellenic Council or not, but I'm going to call her or Facebook or whatever later and say, hey, I got a great topic. Which sorority can I come talk to? But all millennials need that. So maybe I should go to the young professionals of Knoxville and say, hey, how many of you can go get a house for $100,000 right now? You should be buying a triplex or a quadplex. Let me show you where they are in town. Because they're still in Fountain City. They're still in Farragut. They're still in the right school districts that you think you want in the next 10 years. So just go out, buy, go out there and buy those instead of buying a house. Or if you have a house, let me teach you how to turn it into a rental to, you know, keep growing so that when you retire at 
40. You don't have to go buy 10 houses. You've already collected 10 over the last 20 years. It's a lot easier to build your portfolio slower than to turn 40 and say, oh, crap, I forgot to buy a bunch of houses. You know, I mean, nobody likes that. And I talk to so many people that are like, wait a minute, I was supposed to retire when I'm 40 and I just got to the management level. And so now I don't know what I'm doing in my life. <laughs> I talked to so many people like that. And luckily, my mom taught me as a young person to get into real estate. And if your mom didn't teach you to get into real estate, that's fine. That's what I'm here for. Uh, my mom also owns a dump truck company, though. It's Walker's Truck Contractors. They've been in business since 1939, and she has gravel, will travel. So if you're looking to gravel your driveway or put the uh, pad out for a building or you need gravel around the dock or whatever you're looking for, Call Walker's Truck Contractors, 865-933-0225. This is Whitney Nicely with All Real Estate All the Time. He asked me if I'd seen a road with so much dust and sand, and I said, listen, I've traveled every road in this here land. I've been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere, man. Across the deserts, bare man. I breathe the mountains.